Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to the God of War Ragnarok video. Today we are back for another episode of my full walkthrough. This is episode 29 and today we're going to be picking up right where we left off at the end of last episode, which should be pretty dang awesome in our adventure through Vanaheim. So hopefully you guys are to enjoy this next episode and I'll see you guys all in the game. Ooh, the amulet is a unique item with expendable slots or with expandable slots for enchantments. The amulet can be upgraded to unlock more slots. Sweet. Oh, okay. Uh, when an enchant when an enchantment is selected in the list, the description is displayed on the far right of the screen. Sweet. All right. We got the how it started trophy. Nice. Okay. Sweet. So it increases the damage of all Kratos range attacks and abilities based on his cooldown. Awesome. Okay. Sweet. And we also got Root of the Problem. Battle Nitho. Myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. Nice. We now upgrade both of our weapons. And I told you, I knew she would come around. Again, maybe not fully, but she at least, at least for the meantime, way, is going to spare us, I and she doesn't seem so hateful. Okay, before we do that, go ahead and check out the codex here. We have an update on... Okay, she's been removed from the foe. She's now a friend again. Uh, Freya, uh, let's see. Um, there we go. Uh, our journey in Vanaheim was successful in breaking Odin's curse on Freya and in allowing us to forge a new alliance with her. Anger now focused on Odin. Perhaps we can free ourselves of his influence together. I am relieved to think of her as a friend once more. I can imagine no more formidable ally. Dang right. And now we have Nithog. Uh, I do not know why a creature such as this would be so devoted to guarding the roots of a tree, uh, but she gave her life in their defense. Odin exploited Nithog's purpose, uh, protecting the roots of the world tree to guard the curse he placed upon Freya. To use an otherwise innocent being's nature to lead it to destruction is a vile practice. I do not regret slaying Nithog to gain Freya's freedom, but how many others are in the unwitting service of Odin? How many more will lie dead because of it? As I, as I said during that boss fight, I don't know why... Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. I don't know why we... I mean, we had to kill her up, of course, but... Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Of, um... Ah, uh, never mind, I forgot what I was gonna say. Sometimes that happens. But I mean, the conversations that we're having now are much, much, much happier than than they were before. Which is definitely awesome to see. Hello. Goodbye. Sigil arrows. Uh, shoot sigil arrows at burning or frosted enemies with uh, squared trigger elemental explosions. Nice. Look out. Oh no, look out. Oh no. That was. That was dumb. 
Beautiful. Odin, my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. What the heck? Hmm. All right. I don't know why that that why there's purple there, but we'll go ahead and ignore that for now. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me. Ooh, there's another chest up there. Sweet. I mean, now you can do that the, uh, the n old way. But I prefer to do it the new way. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Now the sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Oh, sweet. Well done. Yeah, again, Freya just all of a sudden is a lot happier. Of a companion. She's not so angry. And back up. Nice try. Okay. Alright. That's easy. So we can remove them by pressing... Holding L2. And circle. Sweet. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Okay. Just what the hell do we do? They're impervious to physical attack. My arrows can disrupt their protection spell. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Now let's do this guy. And see you later. Alright. Oh wow, this is a pretty long entry. Uh, a herald of impending destruction, if ever there was one. The runic magic that flows through the Nine Realms is a delicate system. In times of peace, the magic is calm, like a perfectly still lake in the absence of wind. Uh, but even the slightest disturbance is enough to cause ripples, and I can't think of a greater disturbance than Ragnarok approaching. Uh, rooting spirits have begun to appear, causing raw magic to bubble from deep within the very makeup of a realm. Uh, from these springs, wisps are born, the pure manifestation of magic. With Fimble Winter upon us, it is no wonder we're encountering more of these little pests by the day. Uh, be wary, though. These may be easy enough to manage in small numbers, but they can quickly overwhelm even a seasoned warrior. Uh, what's more, they can fuse together to become whites. Um, a fear... Ephemeral beings that can be hit by most attacks. They need to be locked down with a runic arrow before they can be attacked. Uh, once vulnerable, they can be dispatched in a single hit, which causes them to be knocked away and explode, dealing damage to enemies with a little luck. Sweet. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. And Kratos says nothing, as per usual. Wait. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? Far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. Wow. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. 
I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes <laughs> for Freyr, too. Jeez, now it's sunny. Does that mean Fimblewinter's done? In this place? Okay, I yeah. guess not. Harmony. Uh, in a realm of peace, there's only one crime, a disruption of that peace. Uh, look about you, the land is in the land and its people in harmony and balance. As constant as the sun and moon, yet balance is precarious, balance is easily lost. Uh, cruelty, vanity, selfishness, these are the forces that would disrupt Vanaheim's harmony. These are the forces of the Aesir. We are a peaceful people, but peace cannot endure without force to protect it. Now, I wonder who wrote that. Hmm. This we'll never know. Okay, looks like there's another chest down here for us. Not another plant. Oh, the plant just does. Oh, what? Oh wait, those we can't break those. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. <gasps> it's a large bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Oh, is this it? I think you'd have better luck burning it. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Jeez, that was a lot of unnecessary damage. But I guess it's fine. We have more stone wood. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't ran into Brock at all, but I guess he's not moving around as much. My sigils can break through their shields. They're defenseless now. Brock! I flame with blaster across the weekend attacks. Oh, okay. On the next person. On the next person, we'll do that. Nice. Oh, that did not that as much damage as I thought it would be, but, but still. Nice. Enemy behind you. Oh, oh well, let's go back up. Hold on. All right, guys. Well, we are back. Unfortunately, I lost. A little bit of progress my recording as you guys know i've said it a few times that i can record for about two hours and then my recording usually f freezes or stops working so i normally end the recording at about two hours but today it decided to end at an hour and 52 minutes so we're going to pick up <laughs> right where you left off unfortunately it froze at a kind of an inopportune time um, but you only missed the rest of that fight that you guys saw um, at that certain point we were fighting all of the um Ein Harar people um, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump back into this thing. Apologize for the weird edit, but let's do this. Want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? Okay. Uh, use multiple sigils to chain elements towards hard-to-reach places. 
They grow in size and grow brighter when chained together. My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. We have to do this all at once. There we go. Jeez. Even for the unworthy. My wife Faye taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. Now, I, for that particular part, I will definitely be doing an edit because that was way too long of just silliness. Okay, there's more enemies here. Sneaky, sneaky. Here, enjoy this. See you later. There we go. Okay, I think it's gonna fall to its death. Enemies to your left. See you later. Nice. Beautifully done. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Ooh. Whoa! Oh yeah, you have to find the... I don't even know how to get it. Oh, oh never mind. It's marked for us. We just need to find the... Oh. Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers, not so much. I see that. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, I can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered. It's just armor equipment anyway. If it was a better chest, I would be more concerned, but it's not. So we're just going to leave that alone for now. Or I should say a crafting materials chest. So what's next for you? If not preparing for war. I do not know. But I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast unless you want someone to make that choice for you. She makes a good point. I mean, how, how the game's been organized is it's Kratos, then Atreus. Kratos, Ready? then Atreus. As I ever will be. So we'll have to see what happens next after this. If we're going to be playing as Atreus again, but onwards and upwards.
It really is you. <laughs> You've returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild, me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. <sighs> You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. <sighs> I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. You have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I, you, Evie. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? What you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Hmm? I apologize Second for... Is sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Apologize for the Third compass all, being in the cutscene. Even you ain't staying here. Kind of annoying, There's but... mentioning it's injury and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tear. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. All right. All right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. 
Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Let me go ahead and upgrade. Uh, excuse me, can y'all stop and help a lady out, please? Uh, what is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. Was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Sweet. Oh, All and right. don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Okay, well, let me upgrade. Some of the things I have here first. Get that to level four. And we will get this to a level three. Awesome. And we do have a bunch of pommels here. But we'll leave those alone for now. And some more armor as well. Ooh, that's pretty that's pretty dang good. She's got a whole set. That's all better than what we have. So we'll probably Well, we'll definitely go we're definitely going to be doing no this favor refunds. here in a bit. Let me go ahead and head over here to the goals. Uh ooh, favors. The mysterious orb. And track. Alright guys, well that is going to do it for another episode of my God of War. Actually, no, before I do the outro, let me go ahead and talk to these guys. Real quick. We all told him. She was beyond saving, but he never gave up. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart, believes in your goodness, even if you don't. Can I pet the dog? No, I don't think so. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love, focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Oh, we have another Your favor. alliance is unusual. I think what Kratos is trying to say is, he's never seen a light elf and dark elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim? Contested territory, past the barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alphine. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alphine before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which hmm. is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends more than friends you can stop talking okay <laughs> <laughs> i was just Good gonna say that actually i think they ended up a little bit more than friends now can we talk to hey i'm glad it worked uh, whatever you helped to do out there i'm still not sure i totally get you or what your deal is but as long as you have her back i'll have yours hmm okay so is this is this quest in Alfheim? I don't think it is. Or uh, not in Alfheim, in where we are right now. N no, it's not. No, no, it is. Okay. We can actually fast travel to there. Mm, let's go to the journal. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and leave that be for now. Well, there we go, guys. That's going to do it for another episode of my full God of War Ragnarok playthrough. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably jump in here and do this favor 
for whatever her name was. I can't remember it now. And we will also maybe do the Alfheim favor as well. We'll see. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series so far. I've been really, really enjoying this game, as you guys know. Um, and hopefully you guys are also enjoying two videos a day as well. I'm pre-recording this video, of course. So I don't know actually what episode of the Callisto Protocol we're on at this point. Um, but definitely really, really fun doing walkthroughs here on YouTube. And uh, not again, not sure if this is going to be a permanent change or a temporary one. We'll just kind of have to see how things go. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this episode, I'd really appreciate it. We'll check out any of the other previous episodes of God of War Ragnarok. They'll all be linked down below from the playlist in the description. As well as they'll also be at the end of the video you guys check out as well. So guys, all on a, another episode of God of War Ragnarok. Very, very soon.